Hello, this is Around the House with Kay and Tom, and I'm Tom, and today we're going to cook another one of these uh, pork tenderloins here, but we're going to do it completely different than what you've seen before. So the first thing we'll do is get this thing out of this wrapper and get it washed off, because I always like to wash it before I start messing with it, so that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, now I'm sort of surprised by opening it. Open this bag here. There's two of them in this pack, and so when I bought them, it was a four pack. So that means I've I've had a two pack. Well, I bought it was a two pack, so that means now I've got a four four of them. So that's a little more than I wanted, but hey, we'll make do. <laughs> we'll make do with it. But anyway, I was going to show you. I started doing it, and I thought uh, I might as well turn on the camera and let y'all see. Now this fat here. Now I've already washed it. And this fat here, just if you grab a hold of it like this and get a good hold of it, most of it you can just pull right off like that. You know. Now pork is a little fatty to start with, so all that you get off of it, it's not going, it's not going to hurt it. You know. But you can see all I've got here. You know. So. I might have to take a knife to some of this over here. Get some of that, uh, that might pull off. Of course, you don't want it all off, you know, but, but now see, that's so tough. You can't even hardly pull it like that. And I've got a finger under it, and you can't hardly pull it. So you don't want to be eating that. So if you can, get it off before you uh, start, start cooking it. You figure out you can't pull it with your fingers like that. Go ahead and get your rubber, I mean a, a uh, paper towel and put it on it like this and grab a hold of it then. You can get a whole lot better grip on it. Then you can start pulling it right on down like this. So like I say you don't want it all off but like that tough piece while ago that I had a hold of you don't want to leave that on there. I just can't cut into it. I'm just going to be to discard on the plate. And so this looks this is looking pretty good now. So if I've got one, two more of them than I was really expecting or wanted. So I guess I got a better deal than I thought I got. So well, that looks pretty good. Except that one spot right there. I've got to cut some of it off. I just can't leave it on. I might try to pull it off one more time with a paper towel. Now we'll have to cut that piece off. So, put it over here on my other plate now. And we'll put this one in a uh, gallon bag and put it in the freezer. So I'll do that and I'll be back. Oh boy, just while I'm thinking about it, you know when you use these shears and you're cutting in wrappers and stuff like that, <clears throat> you really need to wash them off because they get gummed up and get all that stuff in there. When you, then when you go to cut something else, it's right on there. And especially if you go cut a, a a chicken down the back with it or something like that. You know, you need to wash these things pretty good. So let's keep that in mind. But now we've got everything set up here on this thing that we want. And so now we're going to take some good old Byron's butt rub here. And we're going to start putting it on this piece of pork. And that looks good. Now I've got this stuff on my hands I still got to pick up my Byron's butt rub one more time. So, we'll take off one glove, sprinkle it some more. Don't want to contaminate my uh, container of butt rub here. Just like that. Now, 
next thing we'll do is take this uh, little rack here, tribut, whatever you want to call it. Came with the Ninja Foodie, and I'm going to just put this pork roast in here on top of it. She'll be real happy to see I didn't put a paper towel under it, but I'll clean it up before she sees it. <laughs> Okay, just like that. And that lay him up there real good and get him just right. Now, the next thing we're going to do, we are going to be cooking it in the Ninja Foodie. Just like that. Okay, now we're going to turn on the power and we'll have to shut the lid or it won't do anything. And then we'll go hit the bake roast button. We'll put it up 400 degrees and we'll set the time on it for 18 minutes. And now we're going to hit the start button and let her go. And while I've got a chance, if you can join my channel and give me a thumbs up, I sure appreciate it. And thank you very much to all you people that have joined my channel, and especially the ones that watches my videos over and over. That means a lot to me. So, we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, now we're getting down to about two and a half minutes here, so I'm going to take and stick this thermometer in it right here to see if I can see what it reads. See if it's getting close. Yeah, it's up at about 110, 115, so we'll shut it back. So according to Google, and you know Google's never wrong, <laughs> has to be about 145 degrees and let it set for 10 minutes. So, by the way, while we're waiting here, if you see anything on my videos that you think you might like to have, most of the time I have a link to it down below in, this, in the description. So if you go down there and look around, you might be able to find what you want. Or where you're looking or, or what you're looking for so i won't better I'll check the temperature again in a minute here so we'll see what we got to do okay now we're down one second and that's what i say cool and that's what i say done I want to see if I can get the thermometer back in here. Let me get you over here so you can see a little bit better. Oh, that ain't a good shot. There you go. Well, that looks good, don't it? Whether it's done or not, it looks good. So. Oh, man, that is so close. That's good. That's about what I want. Okay, I know you can't see that, but it's between 138 and 140 so now what I wanted to do I'm glad that it's not quite there yet because now I'm going to take some of the sweet baby rays and I'm going to brush it on top and then I'm going to put it on air crisp and let it go for another three or four minutes maybe five so let me do that That's going to be good right there now. Mm -mm -mm. We'll have to come up with some more of these uh, tenderloin recipes because I got twice as many. <laughs> Twice as much as I had thought I was getting. I <laughs> will have to come up with some recipes to cook some more of them here. So. There you go. That's about enough sweet baby rays. We're not big barbecue uh, sauce fans anyway. You know, most of the time Kay likes to make her own barbecue sauce. We make it uh, Carolina style vinegar. 
type, so we don't eat a whole lot of this, but it's good sometimes. Depends on what you like and what you get used to. So now we're going to come back over here and we're going to shut the lid on this thing. If I had me an automatic camera, I'd be better off. We'll shut the lid. Now you have to let, now when it does this, you have to, when it says off like that, you have to recycle it. So you might as well just wait until it goes completely off. Then you hit the power button. And then this time we'll go do air crisp. And we'll go just, we'll leave it at 390. And we'll come all the way down to five minutes. Okay, and we'll go hit start. Alright, now, this five minutes is up. I'll start so we're going to be ready to eat, but we ain't neither. We're going to have to let it sit and rest for about 10 minutes before we eat. And I might not even let it stay in here for five minutes, and we'll take a look at it in a minute and see. Okay, now we're getting down to about uh, 10 seconds, or well, 14 seconds here. And so I'll move the camera over so you can see right down in here as soon as we uh, pick it up. I don't know why my camera got blurry all of a sudden. I don't like it when my camera gets blurry. <laughs> okay, I hope it clears up when we uh, open this lid. If not, I'm going to have to do something different. Oh, that looks pretty clear. <laughs> and there you go. I looked at that sauce is still bubbling up on it. That's going to be so good. Now I'm going to take it out and put it over here on my plate. And we'll let it set for 10 minutes and I'll be back. But I'll show it to you when we get it done the plate. Now it's been a little over 10 minutes and I can't wait no longer because I'm really eager to see how good and tender this is. I'll start right here cutting it. Well, i got to get closer to the knife with my tongs here. Yeah, boy. Yeah. That looks delicious, doesn't it? I'm going to try it right now in a second as soon as I get it over here. Alright, now I've got a little plastic fork there, as you can see. I'm going to try to cut it with this uh, plastic knife here. Look at that. Now if you can cut that with a plastic fork and knife, you know how tender that is. Let's see if it's any good. Hmm. That was so good. Sometimes I wish people was around just to take a little sample of this when I when I cut it, start to eat it. I just wouldn't believe how good that is. Now, was it the Sweet Baby Rays? Or was it the uh, Butt Rub? Or was it the Get On Ninja Foodie that did <laughs> Hey, you be the judge. Hmm. Hmm. But it sure is good. Like I said, I I got twice as <laughs> I got twice as many of these tender ones than I thought I was getting. I got four instead of two, so you gonna be seeing some more <laughs> tenderloin recipes here. I got to dig some out from a scrapbook from years ago. <laughs> so anyway, thank you very much for watching my videos. I sure do appreciate it. I hope you'll come back and watch some of my videos and in the future and look at all that good juice right there on that thing just coming out and it's just as done as it could be you won't want it to, no dunner is that proper any dunner maybe <laughs> but anyway until next time y'all have a real good day now and come back and see me real soon i hope to have another video for you real soon so until then goodbye now hmm that is so tender <laughs>